Make.com just released their own AI agent. These are agents that you can give prompts as well as access to tools to perform tasks for us. This new feature is going to completely transform the way that we interact with scenarios inside of Make.com. And in this video, I'm going to break it down so you can understand how to use them as well as give my thoughts on this new update. All right, let's dive in. All right, so I'm going to explain to you the flow that we're going to be working through in this video in order to showcase the Make AI agents features. So first of all, we're going to actually message in a Slack channel asking about product sales. And what this is going to do is it's going to trigger our main make AI agent, which we will give a prompt and instruct it how to act. From here, it actually has access to certain tools. So these tools are basically scenarios that you have set up inside of make.com. So for example, that for this specific use case, we're gonna have a Google Sheets tool, which is a scenario that basically pulls data from Google Sheets about our product sales information. So we could connect this to any of the different scenarios that we have. These are the ones we're gonna be using in this video. Next, we have the Perplexity tool, which is essentially another scenario that allows you to research the internet and then send an output of this research back to us. Along with that, we have another tool, which is a scenario called a send Gmail step here. So we give access to our agent to be able to send an email. And then again, we could add any scenario here to our AI agent. So think of it like this as our tool belt that our AI agent has in order for it to perform certain actions and pull information across our scenarios. And then from there, we can receive a Slack response as well, because that is the whole point of this. So we can message with our agent inside of our Slack channel. All right, so I'm gonna show you my AI agent in action. And then I'm going to show you exactly how you can configure your own agent for your own specific use case. And I'm going to break down exactly how to do that. All right. So what this channel is for, this is for any product slash inventory questions for my business, for example. So basically I could come here and just say, what was the status of our last order. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over to my make agents scenario here that has a make agent integrated. I'm going to run this. So essentially this watches for public channel messages now runs this message. It's then crafting a response and then posts to Slack. So here it gave us all this information about our order. And this is essentially pulling from a Google spreadsheet. So another thing I could do, I could basically come inside of here and I could say, send an email to blah, blah, blah with this information. And it could then go ahead and send an email. All right. So this isn't anything crazy in terms of the automation that we built out here, but where this gets really impactful is we built out this agent right here that helps us with anything product launch related. This is our project launch agent that we built out, gave it a system prompt. It knows exactly how we want it to interact. We gave it access to different tools here, Google Sheets integration to pull data. We have the ability to send messages in a Slack channel. We gave it access to Perplexity AI, which allows us to actually browse the web, pull that information from Perplexity, and then also send automated email responses here. So we could basically embed this agent into any of the scenarios that we have instead of having to predefine all these scenarios and that is where this gets really impactful. You can see when we come to make AI agents, we now have the ability to create an AI agent here. And I created one called Project Launch Assistant. Basically, we give a system prompt to our agent instructing it exactly how we want it to act. So, so basically right here, I said, you are a product launch inventory analysis agent whose primary goal is to help our business stay on track of inventory orders and resolve issues quickly. Always respond with a friendly and empathetic tone. From there, you're gonna see underneath we have our system tools. So these are scenarios your agent can always access to make decisions and complete tasks. So we could either feed it context, feed it information, or we could give it the ability to perform actions. So for example, you could see we have a perplexity AI scenario. If I click on this, this then takes me to our scenario that I built out. We basically have a perplexity AI module here. It connects to my perplexity API. Essentially, it takes a prompt, which is our message here. It then gives us an output here that our AI agent can utilize and send back to us. Another example is we have our integration Google Sheets system tool here, which if I click on this scenario, this is essentially where we get information about our products. So Google Sheets, essentially it's gonna pull information here. It's gonna pull sales data from our spreadsheet, array aggregator. And then again, this is going to send this context and information back to our AI agent. If you wanna come here and add a system tool, you're simply gonna click on this. So if I wanna give access access to this scenario, for example, which is just a basic random scenario, but let's just say this scenario is where we will be pulling information 
for our product details related to our sales information. Use this to get information on any of the products that we sell. So basically I'll add that description. It's important to add a description so that way our AI agent knows how to utilize and leverage these tools. So think about it like this. You could create a specific agent for specific tasks that you want it to do. So let's create one that's like a messaging agent. So let's just call this messaging AI agent. I'm gonna select the model. So let's just use ChatGPT 4.0 mini or use whatever model you wanna use obviously. And we're gonna give it a system prompt. Okay, so I'm basically instructing how I want my messaging assistant to act. So I'm gonna save that there. And next up, I could just add my system tools. So let's go ahead and add any of the tools I have here that are communication and like sending message related. So if we want to give access, for example, to sending automated email responses using Gmail, I could go ahead, I could add a description here. So now that I have that there, I could literally just click this and I could then add this. So now I have this as an active tool. And then another one I could add, I could add sending Slack messages. Right here, the description is, this is our Slack messaging scenario. So let me just add that there. So think of it like this. Since this is our messaging AI agent, what we could do is we could add all of our messaging scenarios in here that we have already created. So this way, when we want to actually create an AI message inside of our scenario, instead of having to go and manually add a new Gmail and open AI step here in order for us to send automated emails. Instead, I could just call this AI agent where I come into my scenario. For example, let's just create a new scenario. So basically I have a scenario here where I wanna watch when a new row is added to a spreadsheet. And then let's say once that row is added, let's then respond with AI. So what I could do is I could just call my make AI agent here, click on run an agent, and then I could just choose the messaging AI agent here that I configured. And then now it has access to all these tools so it could respond on Gmail, it could also respond on Slack. So this is a way to like collect all of our scenarios into a tool inside of our AI agent. All right, so quickly let's come back to the whiteboard and discuss why this is so important, why the AI agent is actually such a great feature. Because think about it like this, our AI agent has access to all of these different tools here. And the agent, the agentic part of it is it decides, okay, based on this like inquiry that I got, like this input that I got, what should I do? do? What's the best way for me to tackle this? So it then can choose between any of these tools that you give it. Again, you could give it access to any of your different scenarios, and then it will choose which tool to use in order to get the outcome that it needs. So think of it like this, instead of having to have a very complex scenario where you have certain like if steps, then do this, like all this stuff, you don't need to configure all that. Instead, you can just give access to your AI agent to all these different scenarios you have once you have a bunch of them built out, and it will just decide, okay, how can I do this for you with without having to like predefine all this stuff. So if you use make.com already, this is gonna be an extremely useful tool in order for you to build workflows and automations with AI. All right guys, there you have it. That is the Make AI Agents that they just released. They literally just released it today. So unfortunately I wasn't able to dive very deep into this. However, I wanted to basically test it out and see if this is something that you guys can look forward to. And I will say, if you are already using make.com, this is going to be an absolute game changer in order for you to implement AI across all of your scenarios. I think this is gonna save you a whole bunch of time and add a dynamic aspect to your make scenarios that you didn't have before. With that being said, if you guys wanna use the make AI agents in your accounts, they're slowly gonna be rolling this out so you might not have access to it yet, but you will get it over time. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I cover all things AI for non-techies. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.